Advertising's hard business, Willis. Well, oh, great. Now the other side's crooked. Things are only perfect in heaven. We're not there yet. Hey, this is going to be just fine. There. That'll do it. Yeah, that's good. Butte? Yep, that looks good. This is year, Mike. I feel it. I feel it in my gut. I think that you're going to win the hot chili pepper eating contest, Trophy? Absolutely. Don't give me anything. Hot, fiery, smoke out of the ear, sweat on the brow. You better be careful eating those jalapenos, Lois. Oh, come on. You just watch me. Say, so why don't you enter? You ever notice how spicy food comes from hot countries? You're dodging the subject, Mike. Are you in or are you out? I don't like peppers, Willis. Oh, come on. It's for a good cause. Your entry money goes to the fire department fund. It's your civil duty. Or are you afraid that I'm going to beat you? You don't want to answer that, do you? Do you? OK, I'll enter. Excuse me. Uh, do you know where I can find a Mike Land? Yes, I do. Who are you? Hey, my name's Alan Raffin. I'm a lawyer from Los Angeles. I uh, need to talk to him. What about? Uh, I want to hire him to find a missing person. Do you know where his office is? I certainly do. My name is Willis P. Dunleavy. Mike Land's my partner. Uh-huh. That's him right here. Mike, oh. <laughs> Alan Raffin. Hey, Mr. Raffin, hi, how are you? Pull up a chair. Uh, hang on. You want to talk right here? Now they're remodeling my office. This is as good a place as any. Well, um... <clears throat> Mr. Land, uh, Mr. Dunleavy, I uh, represent the estate of Ambrose Elroy, the uh, film director. Yes, love his stuff. You know him? Yeah, Before the Dawn, one of my favorite movies. You know, he passed away last night. Uh, before he died, he, uh, he instructed me to find a uh, woman. She's the, uh, the only child of Maria Rosa. Maria Rosa was the uh, famous Mexican film star of the 40s. She took Hollywood by storm. Boy, she was beautiful. Now, why do you want to find her? Mr. Elroy left Maria Rosa's daughter over $10 million. That's a serious piece of change. Do you have any leads? Not a trace of the daughter. There's no description, no photo. We don't even have a name. But we know that Maria Rosa was from southern Baja. I don't know the area, but I understand that they're very good investigators, so... Can you take the case? Whoa. Tell somebody they're going to get $10 million. It's more fun than we usually have. Hmm. Yeah, we'll look around for you. For a fee. Oh, of course. We'll pay the fee out of the estate. Do you like a jalapeno? Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, practicing up, are we, Chief? Oh, no, I was just uh... warming up for the jalapeno cut. Those firemen always think they can beat the police. Uh -huh. I was eating hot peppers before I had my mother's milk. It's a matter of honor, you know. The jalapeno trophy will have its place of glory in the police department. Uh, I'll be willing to make a wager with you on that, Chief. Just between you and me, I'm gonna beat you. Did you come to talk about hot peppers? No, he didn't. We thought we'd stop by to see if you might be able to help us find somebody. Oh, no, it's not a criminal matter. No, no. Uh, actually, we're looking for the daughter of the movie star, Maria Rosa. Maria Rosa. Doña Maria Rosa? She was so beautiful. I watched all her movies when I was a kid, Mike. Just to look at her face, she glowed. I wanted to be on that white horse singing to her. I take it you were a big fan. She was the first woman I fell in love with. And you're looking for her daughter. I, I don't think she had one. Maria Rosa never married. 
But I know who can help. Luis Perez. He runs a theater on the road towards the airport. He's a walk-in movie encyclopedia. Ah, oh, good. Come on, Willis. Thanks, Chief. Keep practicing, Chief. Oh, Mike. Would you do me a favor? If you meet Maria Rosa, would you get her autograph from me? <laughs> My name is Mike Land. This is Willis P. Dunleavy. We're private investigators. We're looking for the daughter of Maria Rosa. Ah, I don't think she ever had children. But what a career. Oh, so beautiful. Graceful, strong, proud. You know she had an affair with Ambrose Delroy. Of course, he was married at the time. Quite a scandal. Uh, does she have any family? I don't think so. Uh, I heard she had a private secretary who kept everyone away. Some even say she keeps Maria Rosa a virtual prisoner. Oh, it sounds like that'd be a great movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember she bought a house on a hill in Pedregal. <laughs> well, and Mr. Perez, thanks for your time. You're a big dog. Let's go. Just one more thing, Mr. Land. If you meet Maria Rosa, could you get me an autograph? She's such a recluse, I hope I don't spook her. Well, let's go find out. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Mike Land. This is Willis P. Dunleavy. We're private investigators. We'd like to speak with Donna Rose if it's possible. For what reason? It's about her daughter. It's a legal matter. La Señora Maria Rosa has no children. Well, it's about an inheritance. It's quite important. You heard what I said, sir? If you bother us again, I'll call the police. Goodbye. That's the daughter. It would be uh, very easy if it was, wouldn't it? Pues yo no sé. Pues eso no me gusta. Tú sabes cómo están las cosas aquí. Yo soy el que manda. Elena, who was it? Some city salesman claimed they were investigators looking for your daughter. Daughter. What did they say about daughter? Something about an inheritance. They were probably selling magazine subscriptions. Do you know how they are? Just leave me alone. 
a ti. Mi amorcito. Un besito y te perdono. How many is that, you be? That's four in the last half hour. Better be careful, Willis. I had an uncle who lost his voice for a week from eating too many peppers. Come on. Give me a break. Look at me. I don't show any effects at all. I'm telling you, Mike, I got this contest in the bag. something, senores. Uh, we're looking for a family plot. Uh, it might be a single grave. The family name is... Ro <clears throat> Rosa. Is, uh, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. My mother said you should chew on jalapeno peppers for your sore throat. You got some of those in the car, don't you? What's this person? We're looking for the daughter of the actress, Maria Rosa. Oh. Maria Rosa. Oh, she was beautiful. Of course, by now she has changed. But we all change. I would love to bury her. <laughs> Make a grand funeral. Be nice to have someone famous here, eh? <laughs> Get tourists and visitors, eh? Espera. Wait. Yes. There is a Rosa. Come here. Here's a Rosa. Elizabeth Rosa, 1874 to 1944. Gee, that's, that's a bit early, isn't it? The cemetery's a dead end. Is this all the roses you have? See. Si. Well, if this is all the roses you have, I want to thank you for your time. Oh, time is something we have plenty of over here. Yes. Let's go, Willis. Thank you. Senor, if you meet Maria Rosa. I know. Uh, I'll get her autograph for you. Buenas tardes, senor. Buenas tardes. Ah, ¿qué tal? Mr. Fuentes. Thank you very much for helping us. Oh, no problem. Yeah, my father was a big fan of Maria Rosa. When I was little, I watched all her films. I think I found something very interesting for you. It's in a paper from, uh, let's see, this is uh, 26 years ago. Um, you, you, you read Spanish? No, I don't. Uh, I, I will translate for you. Um, let's see. Ah, actress Maria Rosa. A Baja native has returned and moved into a house on the Pedregal. She was accompanied by her young companion and um, personal secretary, Elena Guzman. Um, Maria Rosa was born Maria Alonso de la Rosa, discovered when she was 18 
landed her a Hollywood contract and instant fame. Hollywood Spotlight salutes Maria Rosa, the Mexican temptress. Congratulations, Senorita Rosa. Bienvenida to Hollywood. Go back to the part where it says uh, when she was born, what her real name was. Oh, yes, yes. Her real name is um, Maria Alonso de la Rosa. De la Rosa. Sí, de la Rosa. Any mention in that article at all of a daughter? No, senor, no. There's no mention of a daughter anywhere. Yeah. Mr. Fuentes? Thanks. Ah, no problem. What is going on? Adios. Uh, but, senor, um, if you talk to Maria Rosa, um, could... You want me to get her autograph for you? Please. Gracias, senor. Adios. I'm going to have to call the police. No, no, please. This is about Maria Rosa's daughter. It's very important. I told you she has no daughter. Yes, she has a daughter. According to this birth certificate, Maria Alonso de la Rosa, known as Maria Rosa, had a daughter named Luisa. We would like to speak with Maria Rosa. I hope you got rid of whoever that was. There is something wrong, isn't there? I can see it in your face. The man? He said you had a daughter. There's a birth certificate. You had a child? You never told me. And why should I tell you? It was so long ago. Why can't they leave me alone? It's... It's gone now. Why didn't you tell me? My secret. I suffered with it inside me. Growing darker and darker. Maria Rosa, we've been together. And also. It's not your business. Alonso de la Rosa. Uh -huh. yeah? Now, she gave birth to a baby girl by the name of Luisa, as you can 
can see right here. Now, if you look down at the bottom of the page, you'll see a blank space where the father's name should uh -huh. be. Ambrose Elroy. That's right. Now, you're still going to try to find the daughter? Right? Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, I gave a copy of this original birth certificate to Maria Rosa's assistant. She did? What happened? Oh, well, I don't know. She wouldn't let us in. I, I wouldn't waste time with the mother. We're, 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 you're looking for the daughter? Yeah, well, just so you know, the assistant swears there was never a daughter. Anyway, I, I just thought I'd show you this birth certificate, let you know uh, I'm still pushing ahead and that, uh, you know, just keep you up to date. Well, Mr. Land, you are doing a great job. Thanks, Ben. Would you, would you like a beer? No, thanks. Sure. Huh. Thank you for meeting me. Got your message. What do you want? My name is Luisa. I'm the woman you have been looking for. I am Maria Alonso de la Rosa's daughter. Then when she wanted to resume her career, an out of wedlock child, I guess I was an embarrassment to her. And I have not seen or heard from her since. All I remember is the smell of her perfume. Louisa, would you like to meet your mother? Oh, no. I no. could arrange it. No, I think it would be too, too traumatic. She rejected me and I don't think I am ready to, to face her. I'm sorry. Mr. Land, we have a word. This is Maria Rosa's daughter. Shouldn't we check it out? No, 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 no. It's, it's not necessary. Look, once I get to the... Well, that was easy enough. Yep. I could have sworn it was the girl in the house. I recall you having a hunch about that. Let's take a ride, boys. Well, Elena, tell Maria Rosa we found her daughter.
Good afternoon, gentlemen. Or is it evening? I never pay any attention to it. Now, gentlemen, you have violated my privacy. You have upset me. Oh. Explain yourself. Donna Rosa, we've been hired to find your daughter. Ambrose Elroy left her $10 million inheritance. Late last night, a woman stepped forward to claim that money. That can be. She's an imposter. Well, that's what we think, too. Now, I know this has to be difficult for you, but you must face the truth. What do you know about my pain? My child was born in scandal. It would follow her the rest of her life. I wanted to spare her the hurt. That's why I abandoned her. It was a mistake. I abandoned my daughter. Donna Rosa. You mustn't keep the secret any longer. You know the truth, don't you? About Elena. Yes, we do. How can I tell my daughter of my lies? Rosa, you loved her. That's all you have to tell her. What do you want me to do? Oh, Mr. Lander, I wasn't expecting you. Louisa, Mr. Rathman wanted me to come by and pick you up. Said there were some legal formalities he wanted to talk to you about. Understand. Uh, well, as a representative of uh, Ambrose Elroy's estate, uh -huh. Maria Rosa would like to have you in attendance. Have a seat. Oh, okay. I'm glad to do it. Just, uh, um, is it okay with you? I'm, I'm a little nervous uh, about seeing my mother. Maria Rosa. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. 
Strappin, Maria Rosa. Well, it's, it's a pleasure. Mr. Elroy spoke of you often. Charmed. Huh? And this must be Luisa. I don't know what to say. Mi madre. Shh. Don't say a word. I'm the one who has to explain. I've kept the secret for years. It only grew uglier and darker. I was young and scared. The fear. The humiliation, the pain my child would feel. So I gave her to Angie to raise. But now you're here. And I'm ready to face whatever it takes. I'm ready to face the truth, wherever it may lead. Was it that Auntie died? Uh, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's been ten years. It was twenty-six years. But I... you're a fraud. Wait, 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 wait. Shh. Since we are all here to face painful truths. Let's not stop. I have an announcement to make. My daughter is here. This is my beloved Luisa. My baby. They were so guilty. They came to pay for, to admit. I couldn't face the truth. After Auntie died, I had to have you back, so I pretended to hire you as my companion. So much I must have known in inside somehow. I have always loved you. All that's important now is that we found each other. Well, the show's over. I'm out of here. No, we're not finished yet. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> this is a surprise. I, I just, I, I, obviously, it's been a mistake. Okay, uh, I am ready to certify this woman as the rightful heir. Sit down, Mr. What? Um, just be quiet for a moment. You counted on Maria Rosa being a recluse and us not being able to find the rightful heir. So at the appropriate time, you slip us a dud and decide to use my report to swindle the estate. That's a nice plan. Now, who is she? I, 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 I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This whole thing was your idea. You're the one who brought me down here from L.A. I have never seen her before in my life. Stand up. Let's go. I, I, no. Yeah, come on. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I, I've never... I, I've never seen her. Let's get him out of here. I've never seen her right. Let's go. Come on. She introduced herself to you, right? She didn't. Let's go. So that's obvious. All right. But I never seen her. Wait a Wait, just listen. Wait, listen, this is not my fault. There's obviously a conspiracy at work here, but I'm the victim. 
Listen, the woman set me up. I, I set you well, up. Well, You're the one who right, found me on this. All right, knock it off, both of you. Knock it off. You're both in a lot of trouble. Fraud ain't funny. Now, you got two choices. You can spend some time in a Mexican jail or be deported back to L.A. and face charges there. Now, pick one. Deportation. Deportation. Get in the car. Okay. I love you. You're so beautiful. You have your father's eyes. We'll never live in darkness again. It's like a good chili. It is hot, it has bite, and it stays with you a long time. That's the way I see things. You know what kind of chili this is? No. This is called a poblano chili. I got a wonderful new book in the library with a full history of chilies. I would like for you to read it. Very interesting. And this is a red bell pepper, a moron. Very, very bueno, good, querido very público, nice ahora vamos a cortar la música y queremos que todos se acerquen porque el concurso ya va a empezar. Vénganse todos acá porque ya vamos a empezar con nuestro concurso famoso. Okay, here are the rules. You must chew and swallow each pepper. You can drink as much beer or water as you want. And at the end of 60 minutes, the person who has eaten the most jalapenos will be the winner. Better chew fast, Chief. Don't worry. The hottest one first. Make sure you get lots of air in between. Sir, senores, are you ready to start shooting? Ready to start? Sorry, I was so rude to you. Mother and I want to thank you both for all you've done for us. Well, you're very kind. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Thanks to you, I'm free of my secret. <laughs> I can step into the sunshine. I no longer live in the past. Oh. I want to reimburse you for your work. Oh, Donna Rosa. Maria, call me Maria. Maria, uh, that's not necessary. Uh, if I might suggest uh, maybe donating this money to the Kabul Fire Department. So be it. I like firemen. They are so handsome. Now, there's a few people here that would like to meet you. Uh, come on, fellas, step up. Yorick. Come on. Come on. I loved you in forever and tomorrow. It changed my life. Me hace un gran favor. Could I have your autograph? Of course. 
Gracias, belleza. I own the Cabo Theater. It would be an honor to have a special showing of your films. Of course. Contact my agent. <laughs> Ruben Fuentes from the library. Yeah. You have a book 30 years overdue. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans. <laughs> Will you sign this book right next to your picture? Senora, por favor. Muchas gracias. Come on, Chief. Come on. Maria. Could I have an autograph? Thank you.